right here with me right now is Max Kinkle, who, uh, what do you do for Sleepy Hollow? Uh, officially I'm the marketing coordinator. The marketing coordinator, okay. And this has you involved with the uh, Festival Park, um, things like the Des Moines Renaissance Fair and, and other events. What all are you guys uh, working on right now? Well, pretty much everything. Um, we had a busy week this last week on uh, Thursday. We had uh, a fellow from the business uh, section of the register come out and do a story on us in the morning, and then we had a chamber meeting at noon that we went up and presented to the Pleasant Hill Chamber of Commerce. Just chamber about, of Commerce. Just about the Renaissance Fair. Um, we've got two interns, Jenny Smith and Katrina Bowler, that are working on contacting companies and setting up like company days for the weeks of for the three weeks of the Renaissance Fair. Um, and that alone has gotten the word out to about 122,000 people in the Des Moines area. Now, so, wow. Okay, now, now this is is actually something that happens normally at Sleepy Hollow because of all the um, events and things that you already host out here for local businesses, right? Yes. Okay, so you're just taking the same thing that Sleepy Hollow has been doing for years and, and you're treating this like another event to bring potentially tens of thousands of corporate employees out to it. Yeah, the only interesting thing is that it's like laying the groundwork. So it's like I've told the interns all along this summer and myself every day I get frustrated. Next year it'll be a lot easier because, you know, we're, we're putting in the ground floor now and people three, three years down the road will definitely be thanking us for all the work we put in, hopefully. Okay, now what's been the general reaction of any of these uh, corporate contacts you've made when you start saying, hey, we're doing a Renaissance Festival in Des Moines? Um, several, actually. Um, some people are like, some people, very few people have been negative. Like, I think there was only like two or three companies that outright said no. Most companies have been very receptive, and generally we get somebody who's interested in the Renaissance Fair, which is great. Um, and they're saying, you know, that's unbelievable, that's so cool, let me check out the website, let me get the word around, oh, this is going to be great. And uh, for the most part, I think that's been the general consensus, is everybody is excited about it. And we've had some questions about the you know, lo old locations, is that the one that was in Des Moines before? Oh, I've been to the one in Des Moines. Oh, well, it's actually the same one, only now it's going to be more spectacular. Okay, so. and I think that's that's probably both a, a plus and a minus when it comes to a festival here in Des Moines. Unlike a lot of new events that start up in areas where they've never had a Renaissance festival, and that can be a challenge, pitching this concept of men in tights into an area that's never had something like that. But Des Moines has had festivals off and on, you know, for the last 10 or so years. Um, when the Iowa Renaissance Festival was here, then there was Salisbury Fair, then there was the Des Moines Renaissance Fair soft event. So, um, you know, it looks like three of these events at least have, have uh, some connection, and all of them have a connection from folks like me that have performed at and, and people that have gone to. So, yeah. so is, that, is that a plus, people already being familiar with the event in this town? I think it's a plus because we're giving them something else now on a grander scale. Um, you know, I think that the fact that we're building permanent structures back there, the fact that this facility is going to be the trademark now for years to come, is huge and people who have had a good time at the previous fairs are very excited. I actually was talking to a gal from Wells Fargo about like I had a personal account issue. I called her and she asked where I work, you know, and we got off on something. I ended up talking to her for about twenty minutes about the Renaissance Fair. That's you good. know, it's just you know they, we see a lot of that actually on a daily basis when we're making calls to these people when we're taking brochures out when you know when people call up and ask questions, you know, we're finding that people are and get, not just asking, oh, when is it, how much, but they're asking engaging questions. And a lot of people are interested in how can I help, you know, what can I do. Very cool. So, yeah. Now, are you uh, seeing that, um, you, you basically have three people that are focusing their time on the festival park activities, but there's a lot more that's going to be happening there than just the Renaissance Fair. Can you, can mm -hmm. you talk a little bit about some of the other events you're already uh, promoting right yeah, now? Yeah, immediately in October, the main thing we're promoting is the Pumpkin Fest and Harvest Fair, um, which is... It's a great fall festival. Um, it's kind of based off of the uh, pumpkin patch thing from Gretna, Nebraska, which is uh, just west of Omaha down there. Yeah, that's a huge and, uh, event. Yeah, it's, it draws huge numbers, and I mean, we're going to have the space for it. We're going to have a lot of great acts. We've got a lumberjack show out there, and we're actually doing the marketing for these events at the same time, which is very efficient, I think. And 
you know, we're, we're sending out, when we send out brochures for the Renaissance Fair, we're also sending out Harvest Fest tickets. Uh, when people buy a ticket to the Renaissance Fair, they get, if they bring their ticket back to the Harvest Fest, they get $2 off. So, oh, excellent. Okay, so I mean, just so, yeah, by going to one event that gets them into the next one, is that going to be something that you guys want to try to keep doing if it's successful? Yeah, I mean, yeah, if it works out and people are receptive to the idea. That absolutely. Sounds, that sounds good. And some of the other things we're doing, too, are trying to get, uh, you know, some of the companies have uh, more than just, like, $2 off incentives for their employees, where they actually find events throughout Des Moines that they say, hey, you work at our company as a perk, we're going to buy you a ticket um, if you want to go on these certain days. And we're trying to line up days like that um, with, with several companies in Des Moines to do that, just to build, you know, build a concrete base for these festivals. Okay. So that we can continue to have them for years to come. All right, so, so we might have like a high V day. I just pick them at random because they're the sponsor yeah. of the castle or whatever. And um, that's interesting. Well, maybe I'll have to talk to my 20-person uh, office and get us involved. Probably not yeah. big enough, huh? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Any size, you know. Okay. Because who knows what companies will grow to in the next 10 years. That's true. You know, I mean, Very that's, true. You never sell yourself short on a thing like that. So. Okay, so anything else you'd like <coughs> to add to our viewing audience of literally dozens of people? Um, just come out and check out the buildings. I mean, on a daily basis when we go out there, I'm more and more amazed at just the scope and magnitude of the facility itself. I mean, I went up to the Bristol Renaissance Fair about two weeks ago now, and I mean, that place is amazing because it's probably eight times as big as the one we were building. However, I think our buildings are better than the one they have there. I think they're more spectacular. Now, is that just because they're newer, or is it just because more design's being put into them? I think there's more design being put into them. And okay. I think they're more they are more individualized buildings as opposed to a long row of buildings that, you know, we have some of that too where there's several shops within one building. However, we have a lot of specialized buildings, whereas right. they, you know, had rows of shops. And, I don't know, I think, I think we've got a great thing going here. We've got plenty of room to expand, so. All right, and you've got information about all the different festival park events up at sleepyhollowsportspark.com. Yep. And then we're trying to spin off, uh, hopefully at some point, more expanded um, merchant information and things at the, uh, the uh, Renaissance thing. And um, going to have a festival park domain real soon, festivalparkiowa.com. Right? Yeah, sounds All right. good. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for your time. Yep. Make good. sure you guys come out in September. I'll be there. This is the turkey leg song. This is the turkey leg song. I want a turkey leg before they're all gone. Oh, this is the turkey leg song. Okay, let's do the second verse. Same as the first. 